First, there was the mission to open the gates of higher education to all qualified students, regardless of their circumstances. Because U of People, as we call it for short, is not just a university, it's actually a promise. Our student body consists of refugees and displaced persons who have lost their safety net, women who refuse to be silenced, minorities who are oppressed, immigrants who are denied the most basic services, and all those who dream of a better life for themselves and for their families. Tuition-free university should exist. There are so many people around the world who deserve higher education and cannot afford it, either for financial, geographic, political, cultural, or personal reasons, and the technology enables us to do so. As far as I'm concerned, the past 10 years went too fast and we just started. Let me take you back in time in my life, uh, roughly 21 years ago. I took off for New York, as she said, with $20, a bag of clothes, and hopes, big hopes. I wandered Penn Station, trying to find my way. And what was bigger than the fear of trying to find my next meal was the fear of failure. But it was the heart of a few good people with an abundance of resources who cared enough to surround me and take care of me. And they gave me the support to realize my dreams and to make a difference. Shira Chef is one of those great people. I remember in one discussion forum, a student apologized for his late submission. The reason being, his country was going through serious strife and he had to evacuate his home so he couldn't access the internet. To me, that's an experience that is so unique to your people. I woke up in a prison cell and I didn't know if it was day or night. I was 16, frightened and cold. Just the day before, I found myself with my mother and my two sisters at the doorstep of the United States pleading for our safety. After being locked up for four days, and having a background check passed on us, we were admitted into the U.S. on parole. This journey started because our hometown grew increasingly violent and we had to leave. Education has always been one of the most important things in my life, and seeing as I could not attend a regular college in Idaho, I needed to find another way that I could continue my studies. But this last year has been one of the most difficult years in my life, but I still get up every day and I still go to work and when I come home, I come home to you old people. There are a few things in existence that once attained, no one can ever take away from you. Education is one of them. So please support education and please support the University of the People. For many people like me, it's our only hope. Mm -hmm.